Alrighty, today we're going to be talking about Snovio. And I'm going to show you how to add a list, start a drip campaign, and then use the Snovio Chrome extension on the web and using LinkedIn. Now, Snovio is an amazing cold email outreach tool that I have been using uh, to find new podcast guests. But I think where this really can shine is in making those, initiating those relationships. So you, you're, you B2B guys, uh, people looking to raise money, uh, people looking to recruit, people looking to get on podcasts, people looking to book podcast guests, and any, any sort of sales actually. Uh, it's just wonderful for on top of any other use that I uh, am not thinking of. So anyways, let's talk about how to do it. So we go in, we add a list, super easy, uh, epic list, you do whatever you need there, and then... What I like to do is I like to go out and build my email drip campaigns. And let's say, let's see here, we're going to do a new drip campaign. And let's dismiss that. And we're going to do the epic campaign. Put a little campaign name there. We're going to obviously choose an email account. You just click add new email account. If you don't have any yet, it takes two seconds to set up. Um, let's go talk about these settings. So if the prospect has multiple email addresses, right? And Stovia will find all of them if... Uh, at all possible, uh, it can either send you all of them or just the first one. Now, if you're more aggressive, send to all because it will go back and like if they had a previous job, uh, email or like an older email, it'll find them and it'll send it to that email too. Uh, if you want to be more conservative, just send it to their first email, which is likely their most current one. Now, why do I say conservative versus aggressive? Well, if you send an email to an old email address, it has a higher likelihood of bouncing. Uh, which hurts your deliverability rates. So if you're uh, if you're okay with that and you want to be more aggressive, use all emails. If you're more conservative and want to protect those deliverability rates, use first email. Now, I would almost always check this box. Unverified emails are emails that Stovio cannot say with any certainty that it's a good email. Again, you don't want to risk your deliverability trying to send to unverified emails. Uh, now, catch-alls, if you're going for the highly personal one-to-one -one sales, uh, do not send to catch-alls because people just that'll go into spam filters or they'll just delete you and they won't open you and it'll be bad for your deliverability again so if you're doing one-to-one -one very personal stuff uh, leave this checked however if you're doing media you're reaching out to get on somebody's podcast or to be um, the one interviewing them, so have them on your podcast, then leave this unchecked because the right people typically forward that out. Uh, and then always enable link tracking. That's just the given. So when you start, you choose your list. So we'll say the epic list, and we'll send an email. That'll be the epic email. And you send the epic email text. And you do whatever you need to do here. So you put in links. You add personalization which Snowvia will find most of this for you. You can do source code, which is always fun. Uh, you can upload files, subscribe link, add images, emojis. I love emojis. Yes. And format text. So you can do that stuff. Uh, pretty basic. I'm pretty sure everybody knows how to do that. Great. Then once you do an email, I always put in a trigger. Always, always, always. Because I want to make sure that I am segmenting who gets my emails and who doesn't. So we want to set the trigger. Now, I like to do when they click the link on the email because when I send my emails, I put in a link to book on my calendar to my uh, per prospective uh, guests, right? So I like to put it there. I also like to wait for the trigger up to three days because this trigger is saying you're waiting for them to either click or open, right? So I'm going to give them three days. Maybe they're behind on their emails. Uh, after th three days, typically they don't get back to me. Um, but anyways, so I like to do click on the link because that's what I use it for. You know your business best. Um, so again, open email, it's going to be easier to get opens, harder to get clicks. Um, so if you want to be more selective, do this one. If you want to be more broad, do this one. Uh, and then I typically will say, okay, if they did what I wanted, then my goal is reached, right? And you may say the goal is whatever, booked and interview, right? Um, I know that if they click the link and to my scheduling hub and they and they did not, uh, so when they click it, the goal is reached, regardless of whether or not they book the interview or they don't, in my specific case, right? 
if they don't book it, then it's all good because they probably aren't that interested in it. Um, so I'm just going to leave them alone. But if you're in sales, you probably want to keep following up, right? And eventually what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back through the goals later on and I'm going to go back through everybody who reached the goal and I'll filter them and put them in a new campaign uh, and I'll match it up and see if I've interviewed them or not. And if the ones I've interviewed take it out, the ones I haven't, I'll just put them back into a different sequence. So that's how I'm going to go about that. Um, now for the email, you know, again, just keep going with this, uh, put in delays if you need, um, and so on and so forth. So that is how you do that. Uh, then you click save and start and your email drip campaign is ready to rock. Now let's talk about how to get people into your list. One wonderful way is to go to LinkedIn. So let's say I want to reach out to Jessica. I will go here. I will click this button and I will choose the right list, right? Make sure to choose the right list because let's say that I built a campaign, a drip campaign for the Epic list. If I put them in the wrong list, they're going to get the wrong campaign. So you want to make sure you're using the right list first, and then you click find emails and save, bam, it'll do the rest for you. It'll put it right into that automation you just built, and you're good to go. Now let's say instead of reaching out to her directly, I want to go talk to the people at the company, right? Well, I can go click learn more, go to their uh, their website, and then I can click Snowvio again, and it'll send me all these emails from the website. So I'll click show all, and this will show me the a little bit about the company it'll show me a uh, prospect from the company uh, like their names it'll show me their emails and this is where all the emails come in handy so you can have a lot of different points of contact and then you see their role so the ski instructor so maybe you want to sell uh you know awesome stuff to instructors so you go instructor there instructor there or maybe you want to talk to somebody high up in the company so you go to the vice president uh depends on what you're trying to do so once you pick the right people and by the way do not jump to the next page before you're finished with this page. Like, get all the people you want on this page, and then what you do is you add them to the list that you want. So when you add them to the list, it starts the automation, right? But do that on this page fully. Like, get through this page and then go to the next uh, page and go through the whole thing. Because if you skip to the next page before you add them, it will uncheck these, and that's not cool. Uh, one other thing I want to tell you about, a uh, little bonus, is the technologies here. So if you're a consultant and you work with technology, you can see all these technologies here. That could be super, super useful. So Snowvio is awesome. You're awesome. These campaigns are awesome. Uh, this Chrome extension is super awesome. So it's awesome. Great. And if you want to uh, get a free trial of Snowvio, just head down and click the button uh, or the link in the description. And you can go ahead and start your free trial. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks. Bye-bye.